Gentlemen of the press, good afternoon. This perhaps will be the final briefing before the elections tomorrow, Saturday, 23rd of February, 2019. With regards to the preparation of the police in Oyo State Command, let me state with all sense of responsibility that Oyo State Police Command is prepared to ensure that the entire citizenry of Oyo State go out there tomorrow, Saturday, 23rd February 2019, during the presidential of National Assembly elections, to perform their civil responsibilities without any fear, because sufficient security measures, adequate security measures, have been in place to ensure that when they get to the voting units and the polling booths, they have no fear at all. Sufficient number of policemen, in addition to other sister security agencies personnel, have been deployed to these polling units to provide security. Policemen have also been deployed to ensure that the voting materials and INEC officials are safe during this exercise. We have also provided police patrol teams at areas considered to be flashpoints so that people need not fear for anything. They should just troop out en, en masse to perform these responsibilities. In case there is need for quick deployment of personnel to deal with any breach of the peace of the area, we have patrol teams around them. We are also going to have patrol teams on standby at the state headquarters to assist those who are out there on the field. This morning, we held a show of force within around the headquarters. The 10 area commands in Oyo State Command held their own show of force yesterday. The Joint Operation Room is operational and is out there to serve all members of the public. The emergency members of the control room have earlier been given out. All our personnel have been mobilized. The K9, that is the dog section, the medical are also involved in this exercise. We have been able to cover all the polling units that are there in Oyo State Police Command. I want to assure the entire group people of Oyo State to go out tomorrow and perform their civil responsibilities without any fear, as adequate security measures have been provided for them. The relationship between the police in the command and the other sister security agencies is excellent. We have engaged ourselves, we have engaged the INEC, and we are working together in synergy to ensure that there are no crises, there are no issues tomorrow when the exercise is on. So security is there, is provided for everybody before, during, and after the elections. Our people should not exercise any fear. For those who think that they can abort the exercise, those who think that they can cause crisis, those who think they can breach the peace, adequate measures have been provided to ensure that they are beaten to their game. And if they are arrested, then they will face the wrath of the law. To the politicians, let me seize this opportunity to appeal to them to play the game according to the rules. Because all of us, the entire society out there, the politicians, the security agencies have their roles to play to ensure that there is a hitch free voting tomorrow, Saturday, 23rd February 2019, and thereafter. Thank you. Akoko yi dupe lo wo awon eyan wa ni ipinle oyo fun ise ribiribi ti won ti nse lati titidi igba ti a ma fi dibo ni ola ojo saturday 23rd february 2019 mo fe fi akoko yi so fun won wi pe ko si iberu bojo kokon rara 
ni to ri pe ati pese abo ti o peye fun awon eyan wa lati tu yaya tu yaya jade lola ki won lo dibo awon olopa wa ni tosi awon agbofiro wa ni tosi won awon olopa ati awon ti o je security personnel doku won ma wa ni polling booth atuma ni awon olopa kan ni headquarters ti awon eyan aduro gege bi ti wa la ba fe sele abi ti wa la ba sele ta ba ni lo lati ran awon eyan lo sibe a ni sese ma le won mu ka kire awon olopa wa na to mu aja ati awon ti medical gbogbo won lo ma wa lenu ise ni ola ojo saturday ko wa si enikan kan ti o gbodo beru rara sugbon fun awon ti won ro wi pe awon le da ibo na ru awon janduku ni mo nba wi yi o aso afi afa fi eleyi ro awon wi pe ki won lo jawo ti won ko ba jawo a o fi owo se ku ofin a o fi mu won awon politicians wa a ro won wi pe ki awon na ki won se ise won de oju ami ki won si so fun awon eyan won ko ma daru gudu sile ko ma daru keru do sile nitori wi pe ilu oyo yi ti wa ni o se adupe lowo yi She be shot as the chief law enforcement officer of the state. I want to know how you will be out of this. That is one. Two. I want to know the preventive measures you are putting in place so that fire enforcement who routinely take to take care of that place at all, let alone carry the force. Thank you. The no responsibility of the Nigerian Police Force is the protection of lives and property. And if there is any breach of the law, it's, it was only reiterated that security agencies should take a closer look wherever they are and be conscious of their environment in dealing with security threats so that they can arrest individuals or groups concerned and then the law will take its course. For our people out there, I mentioned earlier that aside from the men in Mufti, who will also be monitoring what is happening, these are security operatives, we have patrol teams that will be stationed in a strategic manner all over the place to ensure that if there are hitches at the polling units or polling booths, because of course you are aware, those are the polling booths are not supposed to be armed, and they are not going to be armed. The armed group will be stationed in, in, in areas we consider strategic and red light areas so that we can, they can immediately be deployed to deal with any breach of the peace. In addition to that, we will have patrol teams at the headquarters, personnel who will be on standby for quick deployment as the need arises. Thank you. Please, I want to know the number of the policemen that are being deployed for this election. The, the protection of voting area, voting materials, INEC officials is a collective effort. But I don't like giving out the figures because when you are at war or when you are going to a war, you have your secrets. When you are going to perform certain duties, not necessarily war, you have your secrets. But again, I can tell you that we have about close to 10,000 personnel that will be out there to carry out this exercise on Saturday. And I think we have sufficient men on ground. Thank you. Well, I just want to at least a little bit get someone from those that will restore the confidence of the vote of the electoral. Because many of them are apprehensive based on the comment presented to the president. For me, it was a misinterpretation. But for them, it might not be. And that has to do with the fact that that word should have sight. For you, as a police officer who understands of what happens very well, what would be the kind of confidence you are going to give to the people to ensure that there is no total apathy tomorrow? Because many of them from now, after listening to them, they might not be going out to do that. The criminally minded individuals or groups who are in the habit or who wishes to disrupt the exercise 
should just stay away. Those who have no such ideas, those who are going out there simply to carry out their uh, responsibilities, civic responsibilities, should go out tomorrow en masse and cast their votes. They have nothing to fear. But those who think that they are out there to disrupt, to disturb, or ensure that there is no such exercise, then they have something to fear because the police will apply the law and the constitution of the country. Thank you very much. To disrupt the exercise of who wishes to, we are sounding a very serious note of warning that the police will not allow that. And that is what we have been planning since all these days. And that's why for the one week opening window, we've been trying to dot our eyes and cross our teeth. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.